name Fremantle boy. What it's, what's it like to be back in Fremantle? Yeah, obviously I've been away for five years, so um, it's a bit of a change of scenery. I left at 18 and I'm now 23, so um, it's good to be back. Um, mo moved back in with mum and dad for the time being and um, enjoying mum's cooking, so it's all good at the moment. Do you have a free supporter growing up? Uh, I had a soft spot for Freya. I was actually, I'm Victorian born, so I was a Bombers supporter um, back in the day. So I always had a soft spot for Freya, and uh, I'm glad to be here now. And the Oval's pretty familiar to you, obviously, being a South Manor. Yeah, it is. I have played a little bit of footy out there. So, um, no, it'll be good to get back out there um, in the next couple of weeks and uh, hit the ground running for pre-season. Can you tell us about your time at Long? How did you enjoy the club and find the club, and, and what did you learn about AFL? Yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed my time at Geelong. Um, it feels like only yesterday that I walked in the doors um, and it was five years ago. Um, it's a great place, there's a lot of good people there um, and I believe the club a better person and footballer um, for spending five years there. So um, yeah, I really enjoyed it. Um, I probably didn't have um, the opportunity when I was younger um, with injuries and whatnot, um, but Thankfully, I'm um, pretty happy that they gave me the opportunity to play AFL football. Um, and yeah, here I am now at, at Freo, and I look forward to uh, what the future holds. You spent a lot of last year in their best, of oh, like this year, sorry, last season, in their best 22, but weren't there at the end of the season. What's your next step, do you think, as an AFL player in your development to, to be able to secure yourself in a club's best team? Uh, I think it comes down to doing pre-seasons. Um, having pre-season behind you gives you a good continuity in your football. Um, up until this pre-season just gone, I hadn't completed too, too many um, of a full pre-season. So um, my body's in good shape at the moment. Um, I look forward to getting out there on the 21st of November, um, meeting, meeting all my new teammates and earning that respect straight away. And, um, yeah, as I said, I think it's just continuity. Being out on the track consistently um, gives you that chance to get out there and play um, good AFL footy, I guess. We, we've heard a bit about your friendship with Joel Hamlin. Did yep. you guys, obviously, you found yourself here at the same time. Did you guys talk much about the decisions you both had in front of you when you were trying to make those decisions? Uh, there was a little bit of that, and it probably sounds a little bit funny, but um, it was probably more me trying to help him out with his decision. He had obviously a few other um, factors into why he had to make a decision. Um, I won't go into those, but yeah, we, we'd, had, we'd had the odd chat every now and again, and we obviously both knew what was ahead of us and the opportunity that the Fremantle Football Club was willing to give us. And um, he's pretty excited about um, what the future holds for not only himself, but um, the Fremantle Football Club going forward. and. Um, I think we both made the right decision. Did you think you'd ever play alongside him again three years ago when he got cut from Geelong? Uh, no, that never crossed my mind to be honest. Um, he'd only spent two years at the Bulldogs, so it was only two years ago that I was playing alongside him. Um, and then to be given this opportunity um, back in our home state to play alongside each other um, for Fremantle um, is something pretty special. and. Um, yeah, it will be good to get out there on the park and have a kick together, I guess. Have you got any other close mates at the club? Uh, I wouldn't say close mates. I, I do know a few of the boys. Um, but I've been in and around the club a couple of times in the last week or so, so I'm just looking forward to uh, meeting everyone and um, earning that respect, as I said. It's potential for a um, sport line with a strong South Romano flavour, Shane, with yourself and Cameron. Um, have you had much to do with Cameron over the years? Uh, he's a couple of years younger, so I haven't had too much to do to do with Cam. Obviously, I, I know of him, and um, I've met him a few times around the place now in the last uh, in the last month or so. So, um, if we get that chance um, to play alongside each other um, in the next couple of years, I'm sure it'll be exciting. And um, it's a it's a, it's a young and upcoming group. Um, it, it looks exciting. The forward line looks young, um, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not too sure um, what the future holds for us, but all in all, it's exciting. Everyone's young and, and fresh, and there'll be a lot of competition for, for spots and that sort of thing. Chris Mayne goes out. He's a similar size to you. Do you see yourself as a, as a, 
potential replacement of him in the team? Uh, I wouldn't say a potential replacement, no. I'm, I've obviously been brought over here as a forward and to, to fill holes that maybe um, needed to be filled, but um, from my point of view, um, I've got to put my best foot forward in pre at this first block of pre-season, and um, I'm not looking too far ahead. I'm not looking. F I'm not looking forward to round. Like I'm not looking forward um, and putting wires on round one as of yet. Um, I just want to get in here, meet everyone, um, work with the coaches, um, and do all those things to um, put myself and my body in the best shape possible. Come the pointy end of the pre-season.